For those who may not recall, QSTAR is a secretive initiative within OpenAI focused on creating a new approach for artificial intelligence to handle logic, reasoning, and planning. Up until now, we've only had small snippets of information leaking from OpenAI. However, we now have more details about another project, codenamed Strawberry, which we will be discussing today. Additionally, OpenAI has established criteria for identifying when we achieve AGI artificial general intelligence and the stages leading up to it. In today's discussion, we will review an article from Reuters by Anna Tong and Katie Paul titled OpenAI Working on a New Reasoning Technology Under Codename Strawberry. It's important to note that Strawberry is the new codename for the QSTAR project. ChatGPT maker OpenAI is working on a novel approach to its artificial intelligence models in a project codenamed Strawberry, according to a person familiar with the matter and internal documentation reviewed by readers. Reuters could not ascertain the precise date of the document, but it details how OpenAI intends to use Strawberry to perform research. Furthermore, this is yet another chapter in the ongoing QSTAR saga. QSTAR focuses on enhancing logic, reasoning, and most importantly, planning areas where today's large language models fall short. If these models struggle to plan ahead effectively without the assistance of agentic frameworks. As mentioned here, Strawberry models aim to enable the company's AI not just to generate answers to queries, but also to plan ahead, navigate the internet autonomously, and reliably perform what OpenAI calls deep research. Recently, I've been reflecting on a statement made by Sam Altman a couple of months ago. He talked about deep research in two ways, post-training and pre-training. Altman noted that the total amount of data available for training models isn't increasing rapidly. This leaves us with two primary options. We can either use other models to generate synthetic data for training new models, though I'm skeptical about the effectiveness of this method since the data will be derivative. The other option is to enable models to make better use of the existing data. What does this entail? When a model is trained, it typically processes a data set only once. This is unlike the human brain, which revisits and reevaluates information multiple times. Pre-trained models essentially get a single pass at the data, which is not how humans learn and adapt. When learning something complex, humans read about it, take time to reflect, and reference various information sources while building their knowledge. This process can take weeks, months, or even years to master a subject in depth, something today's large language models can't do. But what if they could? What if these models could revisit the same data repeatedly, analyzing it in different ways to extract the most comprehensive understanding possible? This approach could significantly enhance their capabilities, akin to post-training in humans. When you prompt a model, it quickly provides an answer without truly thinking about it. It simply gives the first response it generates. However, if a model had time to think and iterate, it could improve its answers. This can be achieved through various prompting techniques, such as chain of thought and mixtures of agents. Yet, large language models alone lack this capability. This is precisely what QSTAR, now codenamed Strawberry, aims to accomplish. OpenAI actually commented on this story. A company spokesperson said in a statement, we want our AI models to see and understand the world more like we do. Continuous research into new AI capabilities is a common practice in the industry with a shared belief that these systems will improve in reasoning over time. I've heard a few things about what QSTAR might actually entail, ranging from planning and deep research to excelling in mathematics. Let's continue reading to find out more. A different source briefed on the matter said OpenAI has tested AI internally that scored over 90% on a math data set, a benchmark of championship math problems, but they couldn't determine if this was related to the Strawberry project. While we are only getting little leaks and pieces of information, it is nonetheless interesting. On Tuesday at an internal all-hands meeting, OpenAI showed a demo of a research project that it claimed had new human-like reasoning skills, according to Bloomberg. This article is also connected to the release of information on how OpenAI plans to gauge its progress on the AGI timeline. I will cover that shortly. Here's a particularly important paragraph that highlights a significant truth about how models function today. 
large language models can already summarize dense text and compose elegant prose far more quickly than any human. However, the technology often falls short on common sense problems whose solutions seem intuitive to people, such as recognizing logical fallacies and playing tic-tac-toe. We've seen significant improvements in these models' abilities to handle logic and reasoning problems. If you've watched any of my videos, you'll know I regularly test them with various logic and reasoning challenges. Over the past six months, and especially in the last four months, there has been tremendous progress in large language models' ability to solve some of these problems. However, they still often fall short of getting it right consistently. AI researchers interviewed by Reuters generally agree that reasoning in the context of AI involves the formation of a model that enables AI to plan ahead, reflect how the physical world functions, and work through challenging multi-step problems reliably. There are a few key points to consider. AI that can plan ahead is not how large language models operate today. Currently, you have to prompt them to plan, but this has its limitations. However, if you can provide these models with memory and integrate them into an agentic framework, you start to enable the ability to plan. This capability is further enhanced when you combine multiple models together. Next, reflect on how the physical world functions. Yan LeCun has frequently discussed the concept of large language models as world models or world simulators, arguing that the transformer architecture alone is insufficient to achieve this. He believes that while some people think scaling laws and the current use of transformer models are adequate for creating world simulations, he provides several examples demonstrating how large language models are currently unable to effectively simulate the physical world. Lacuna argues that language alone is insufficient for modeling the world. One example he gives is if you start at the North Pole, walk 200 meters in one direction, then turn left and walk 200 meters, and then turn left and walk 200 meters, and then turn left again and walk another 200 meters, will you ever cross your starting point? When you think about this scenario, you're not using language, you're employing spatial reasoning and world modeling in your mind. While this is easy for humans to figure out, it is quite challenging for large language models to grasp. And this underscores his point. Next, he says they want this new strawberry model to be able to work through challenging multi-step problems reliably. This focus on multi-step planning and problem solving addresses a known weakness in large language models, LMS. Improving reasoning in AI models is seen as the key to unlocking their ability to perform tasks ranging from making major scientific discoveries to planning and building new software applications. And if we do achieve greatly enhanced planning and reasoning from AI, we might actually reach the point of AGI. This improvement is likely one of the critical ingredients for achieving AGI. Sam Altman said earlier this year, the most important areas of progress will be around reasoning ability. This aligns with the perspective of Yan LeCun, one of the pioneers of modern AI, who works at Meta. LeCun has frequently stated that LMAs are not currently capable of human-like reasoning, highlighting the importance of advancements in this area. OpenAI has hinted at several new technologies, such as GPT-40's voice capabilities, but they keep delaying these releases or providing no firm dates. In fact, GPT-40, essentially a much faster version of GPT-4, is the only significant innovation from OpenAI that has been released recently. But we're due for a big release from OpenAI, which is exciting, but it hasn't happened yet as mentioned in the article. In recent months, the company has privately been signaling to developers and other outside parties that it is on the cusp of releasing technology with significantly more advanced reasoning capabilities, according to four people who have heard the company's pitches. To elaborate more on Strawberry, it includes a specialized form of what is known as post-training. OpenAI's generative AI models are adapting the base model to hone their performance in specific ways after they have already been trained on vast amounts of generalized data, according to one of the sources. That's interesting because training a new model from scratch would require a substantial monetary and time investment from OpenAI. However, if this technology can take an existing model and apply post-training, it would significantly reduce both the time to release and the cost of training, making the development process much more efficient. 
Strawberry has similarities to a method developed at Stanford in 2022 called Self-Taught Reasoner, or STAR, which we have covered previously. STAR enables AI models to bootstrap themselves into higher intelligence levels by iteratively creating their own training data. In theory, this method could be used to help language models transcend human-level intelligence. More on Strawberry aims to perform long-horizon tasks, referring to complex tasks that require a model to plan ahead and perform a series of actions over an extended period of time. This is something Sam Altman has discussed, both pre- and post-training. Essentially, instead of the model just taking your prompt and immediately generating the first response it can think of, it would actually take seconds, minutes, hours, or even days to thoroughly consider the problem, come up with the best possible answer, and then present it to you. This might be a setting you can adjust, allowing you to specify, take as much time as you need or I need this within 10 minutes. The longer you give it, the better the result is likely to be. Currently, there isn't any known technology that can accomplish this level of deep, time-intensive reasoning and achieving it would be a significant breakthrough. Imagine a multi-agent system where several agents work together in real time, assigning a long thinking agent to take its time on a specific task. While this agent deliberates, the other agents continue with their tasks. Once the long thinking agent completes its in-depth analysis, it reports its findings back to the other agents, who then integrate all the information and deliver the final result to you. This collaborative approach could greatly enhance the capabilities and accuracy of AI systems. OpenAI specifically wants its models to use these capabilities to conduct research by browsing the web autonomously with the assistance of QA, a computer using agent that can take actions based on its findings. This information is detailed in the document and supported by one of the sources. That's it for the summary. Excellent reporting by Anna Tong and Katie Paul. Thank you for putting together this insightful article. Now, I'd like to show you one last thing. This article from The Verge discusses how OpenAI plans to assess the power of its AI models. And you might be surprised to learn that the current iteration of ChatGPT is considered only level one out of five. OpenAI views the current version of ChatGPT as quite basic, echoing what Sam Altman has previously stated the current ChatGPT is really bad and will be the worst it ever is right now. Despite the impressive performance of ChatGPT and its iterations over the past year, we are still just at the very beginning of its potential development. The OpenAI has created an internal scale to track the progress its large language models are making towards artificial general intelligence. Currently, ChatGPT is at level one and OpenAI claims it is nearing level two. Level two is defined as a system that can solve basic problems at the level of a person with a PhD. Level three refers to AI agents capable of taking actions on a user's behalf. In my opinion, this level three is going to change humanity. When you can have agents working on your behalf, accomplishing useful tasks 24 hours a day instead of merely answering world knowledge questions, it represents a tremendous productivity increase for humanity. Apple's announcements about Apple intelligence hinted at this potential, suggesting a future where Siri and similar assistants can perform tasks on your phone autonomously. This concept is incredibly intriguing, as it only begins to explore the possibilities of such advanced AI assistants. I have many thoughts on what the architecture for this should be, and in my opinion, it needs to be local. For an AI agent to truly accomplish tasks on my behalf, it must have access to all my private information. Therefore, I don't want this data leaving my phone, and I certainly don't want to send it to OpenAI. All of this processing needs to be done locally on the phone or any edge device to ensure privacy and security. Now, here's the thing. I am creating a video all about this topic. I strongly believe in a future where we will have very narrowly defined vertical models that are small, hyper-efficient, and low-cost, capable of running on edge devices. I will elaborate more on this in an upcoming video. Next level four involves AI that can create new innovations, such as scientific discoveries, mathematical breakthroughs, and much more. If you remember the chart from Leopold Aschenbrenner's situational awareness paper, 
this level signifies reaching AGI. At this point, AGI can conduct research, self-improve, and drive the superintelligence explosion. Then level five, the final step to achieving AGI, involves AI that can perform the work of entire organizations of people. This ranking feels similar to how autonomous driving vehicles are ranked level zero, level one, level two, and so on until level five, where you basically don't even need to pay attention because the car drives itself. So that's it. What do you think of QSTAR? Do you think Strawberry is the next iteration of QSTAR? Do you think it's coming soon and could it be GPT-5? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.